the primary way in which activated estrogen receptors can affect a cell is known as the genomic pathway in which they move to the nucleus, bind the DNA, and activate transcription. But there is also a second pathway known as the non-genomic pathway where activated estrogen receptors, after a fatty acid is bound, interact with a membrane receptor of the G-protein coupled receptor family, or GPCR, named GPR30 or GPER1. Um, same protein, two names. Um, and so after interacting with this cell membrane uh, receptor, the membrane receptor can then activate kinases, enzymes which now uh, move around the cell adding phosphates and turning on proteins, or perhaps by changing the ion concentration, such as allowing a calcium ion flux which affects the cells. And unlike the genomic pathway, this non-genomic pathway can be active within seconds. Another complicating factor is that estrogen receptors are promiscuous. This is a biological term, meaning that in addition to binding estradiol, the primary estrogen, they also bind other molecules which are called estrogens, such as estrone, uh, which is uh, a precursor to estradiol but can activate estrogen receptors in and of itself. Estriol, which is produced by the placenta during pregnancy in uh, great quantities, but then also molecules not uh, traditionally considered uh, estrogens, such, such as DHEA or androstenediol, or a breakdown product of cholesterol known as 27-hydroxycholesterol. All of these are capable of binding estrogen receptors, which then turn on genes in the same way as if they had bound estradiol. And so all of these diverse molecules can change the levels of genes transcribed. There are also pharmaceutical uh, products and molecules known from plants, known as phytoestrogens, or some which may originate from pesticides or from plastics like bisphenol A or BPA that can bind to estrogen uh, receptors and thus change gene uh, transcription. This is something which is potentially undesirable that, say, the, the signal which would initiate uh, greater levels of cell division, which might actually then even lead to cancer, that these would not be under the control of the human body, but rather uh, the plastics or pesticides that human ingested or molecules from plants. Um, and so therefore, estrogen receptors being promiscuous is of concern. Given that many of these molecules have a similar shape, but not identical to estradiol, this then can cause some to have varying effects so that instead of always having the same effect as estradiol being agonists or always opposing estradiol being antagonists, some then can sometimes uh, facilitate the same uh, reactions as estradiol, but other times antagonize. Uh, those actions. So they are known as SERMs or selective estrogen receptor modulators because as these molecules which are not estradiol bind to the estrogen receptor, this may result in a different shape of the dimer which may not react with other molecules known as co-activators or co-repressors in the same way. Some of these uh, will stimulate the genomic pathway, but not the non-genomic pathway involving the uh, G-protein coupled receptor on uh, the cell membrane. And so the mode of action of estrogen receptors has a number of complicating factors.